Welcome to the one and only real flat earth site that explains everything. <coughs> Way beyond all the other flat earth sites. We talk about the trivial things like horizons and what the sun is doing out here. They haven't got any idea that the sun's not out there, the sun's back here. And that's only a projection. <laughs> but anyway, today's video is about magnetism, specifically the ring magnet. I have found something, I've mentioned it way back, it's just another first from Lindsay Harris. Science is missed, even Ken Wheeler hasn't, hasn't spotted it, and that is how the magnetic field works on a ring magnet, and it works exactly how the earth works. There's our flat earth, looking down, there's a slice. Magnetic fields from the south come up to the tropics and shoot down and go negative under the earth, up to the sun, positive across there, down to the tropics again and shoot back that way. Negative, positive. There's your ring magnet. Same thing. We know when you chop a magnet in half, you'll always get two poles. No matter how small you go, there's always the two poles. Well, they've missed, the, they've missed the fact that on the ring magnet you get the two poles on here. There's two halves. They've got the two this way too. I'm thinking, gee, how does that work? You've got a half there and a half there as well. And then, uh, this is like my fifth go at this video. <laughs> so I had a break and went and watched some YouTube and here's this Ken Wheeler video from about six years old and blow me down. It's exactly what I'm going to talk about. So now I've got all this extra information. He basically verifies it on a whole. But there's just a couple of things they don't even know and have wrong. But he, he went on to show this. He's got a tor Toro Flux. He crams it down. It's all wire, spring wire loaded, right? Crams it down. It, he's showing you that's the charge. And then release it and the springs open. And that becomes the discharge. You need to understand that in magnetism. So check out his video. It's on my phone. I didn't bring my phone in the office. It goes back six years old. It's all there. It's something of uh, learning about magnetism part one or something. Sorry, I haven't got the whole information. Yeah, but check it out. Um, so this system here can basically go both ways. And it does. It can sit this way or that way. It, it all works the same. The dielectric inertia or dielectric plane, I think it's the same thing. So you can go, that's the earth, negative, positive. Or you can turn it around, go vertically and go center earth, the magnetic field. over the earth that would be the donut that would be the donut shape like we've got here donut but anyway move it on from there uh, and, the, and the binding system the hyperbola and the dielectric which is basically this the hyperbola the hyperbola this is what you're getting a hyperbola uh, through here you're getting a the two rings here, hyperbola through that way, that's through the donut system, otherwise you're getting it this way, through here, the inertial plane through here. This is where science, well this is where I'm ahead of science, they've missed this, this break in the field, that, that gap in the, around the equator. That gap there in the ring magnet. It doesn't go from there over to here or there over to there in one full swing. It passes down through the center and it's attracted to the lowest pressure median. Lower pressure. Warm air coming out from the tropics. It's drawn here. Warm air rises from the tropics to cause the low pressure above. So you're getting these fields coming in to the tropics and going straight down 
straight down and out to the ears. Put some more light on the subject. See it's coming in from south and north, straight down, being sucked down because the warm air rises and you've got the low pressure. So the low pressure acts as a would probably work in this system too. The slow pressure down to the earth. That's what's dragging the, the field down to the earth. Yeah, there's always opposites. There's always a counter force in nature. Things, a duality. Low pressure, high pressure. Um, magnetism, electricity. Electron, proton. So, and this is, this is it here. So you've got the southern rotation, say time lapse rotation to the star trails, and you get the northern one. The cut, the oil, and the field comes together, merges like this, and pushes everything around west. Everything moves west. And it's all described in meteorology. Solar winds, and solar winds. And the solar winds and the magnetic field, the same thing. And Ken just is saying the whole thing, they're all the same. Magnetism, gravity, uh, electricity and magnetism are all the same. And um, anyway, this is, this is it here. Imagine this is the southern rotation in the star trails. Northern rotation, they merge like this. As they come in like that, there's a low pressure system created in here. So then, like everything else, once you've got the sun gone bang and everything starts going, in the beginning there was chaos, then the sun went right, and then everything started flowing, all the electrons lined up, that sort of thing in physics. So one thing leads to the other, so this thing creates this, and this thing creates that. It's like electricity creates magnetism, magnetism creates electricity. It's just perpetual self-generating. So this keeps winding, they keep winding in all the way around over 24 hours. This rotation comes all the way around here. That one stays here turning, doesn't wander. This moves all the way around it, just like an induction motor. Look it up. Look up the uh, how the electrical, the currents work in it too. How it, how it shoots opposite negative. Like this positive shoots negative through the earth and the opposite to create the flower arrangements you get here. You get the field going here and there, coming over, but then underneath it, it starts forming that, that petal. The petal looks on a flower, it's all, it's, all, it's all in nature. You get the petals overlaying. Positive and negative underneath, all the way around the flower. Nature, it's magnetism. Uh, so they all come together because they're attracted to the pressure medium. They're not opposites, are they? They're not opposites attract. Ken keeps telling us opposites don't attract to magnetism. They're just rushing to the lower, least dense medium. And that's what they're doing here. No pressure, high pressure in the Arctic, high pressure in the Antarctic. Up high. Or well, down low. It's up high here. <laughs> so, it's that. Oh, it's, so this here. So this keeps turning over the night all the way around here. It just keeps turning like this. It will, you don't get a full star rotation, they're always coming in. Well, you should, but because it's a reflection up from here, and you've got the spiral thing, spiral, getting bigger and bigger, you're not going to see the same stars down here, because they'll get lost in that spiral as they come around and up and behind the last one. So you don't get a full rotation there either, I don't think. But down here, you definitely don't get a full rotation of stars, because they're all coming in as they're fading out. But you've always got this rotation, so you always see a rotation in the sky. But it's actually going like this, as it winds in, fades out, winds in, and this is what this is how it works. 
racing towards this. You just keep coming in, keep coming in. No one spotted that. It's another first for Lindsay Harris. The other thing is, in the video, I just brought this in, watching his video, and he shows this under the ferrocell fluid, right? This is the ring magnet. So he's missing the fact he's showing the flux on the ring magnet. So basically this ring magnet is the tropic zone. The tropic zone around there. All this action out here and the action in there is what's happening here. There's the northern action, southern action. He's missed the they've all missed the fact, science, Ken, everyone, that the field is coming in like that. Passing down through the earth. <laughs> Get it? Coming in, passing down through the earth. They don't touch. There's like a, a three-phase mo uh, rotor motor system. It's three-phase. They're so getting a three times one one twenty uh, diversion under here, and the fields come come down and divert off like that. But I don't know what's, or how many, what phase that would be. I think it's just a, an AC single phase. But then again, input must thought into it because you've got all the planets that must be doing something, phasing. No, it'll be, um, well, it works on the 12 hour system, doesn't it? The, the, the tides. I've done that in a previous video, I think. So it's a 12 hour thing. You got six. Six hours, eh? Yeah, six hours out, six hours in, isn't it? Yeah, this is the pumping. This is the earth. You think, well, that's not fast enough. But you've got to think, you've got to shrink it all back to the central point. And just imagine the sun's in there. And imagine it has to turn for 360 over 24 hours, how slow that would be. But when it's magnified out, you know, you're almost watching it go around the sky. It's 15 degrees per hour right here. That's how it all works. It's pumping, tidal, all magnetism. Road to the moon, of course, magnetic field to the moon. So you get that, it's pretty cool. And this dielectric, this is the dielectric through there, or you can put it through that, that way. So these are the magnetic fields. There's a donut. Or you can go there and there, right? And there's the dielectric um, inertial plane. We know that's the inertial plane through the, through the vort vacuum here. It's not exactly like that. Oh, because this isn't straight out magnetism, this has got the electrical circuit now. This vacuum is the electrical circuit, but without the electrical circuit, that's your inertial dielectric, inertial. I don't know if I call it dielectric, but it's inertial plane in there and in there. Uh, I had it all in my head, all organised, but you know. Five, ten videos ago, it's sort of gone there. <laughs> Another thing, is that anyone ever query? <coughs> you know, they want you to think you live on a spinning ball. So what happens with a spinning ball overnight? Let's say it's going east, right? That ball overnight is only doing a half turn. If it's, say, near the equinox. I mean, uh, the equinox, yeah, yeah. It's say 12 hours daytime, 12 hours night. It's only it's only going like that over the night. Then comes daylight. So you're looking south. How come you're getting star trails that are doing that? Full 360 rotations all night long. How does that happen? How does that happen if Earth is only doing one rotation over the night? Not even a full rotation, half a rotation. Anybody queried that? Same up north, four rotations, continuously going all night long. It's all explained on the flat earth, but with a ball, how do they explain it? No one even speaks up and talks about the fact you see the two rotations meeting at the equator. 
They say, oh, if you look south and look north, it's a rotation, it's a rotation. Hey, no, 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 I'm looking at the equator. I'm seeing them both, both merge. And then I'm 36 degrees south and I, I'm looking celestial equator and I'm seeing them both, both of them. The southern sky and the northern sky way out there. How can that happen on what, if you're standing on one rotating ball? The whole thing's a joke. The people are too dumb to wake up. So this is an educational video for spinning ballers, really. Get them to try and prove how all this magnetism works on a spinning ball. In nature, like just like this. I've tried to explain how we get, we can't have a flat earth map in the last video, I think. Uh, another thing, I don't know if I mentioned this, I've done the video so many times. Has there been an experiment, they say we're spinning at 17, 1,700 kilometres an hour, right? Where's the experiment to prove that earth isn't rotating 800 kilometres an hour and the sky is going, moving that way 800 kilometres an hour? How can they prove that? Where's the experiment for that? Uh, no, they can't do things like that because it's all garbage. It's all made up rubbish. We know, we know this whole thing is evolving like a clock, all turning the same speed. Slightly different because it starts from in here out to here. And the moon, the sun, everything should move at the same speed as the sun. It's the sun turning inside the, in the Milky Way here, inside there. That's the clock. So the moon's a little slower because it's outside the, outside the rotation, slightly wider diameter. And the stars and all that are between the sun and the moon, but I've done that in other videos. Uh, we've spoken about that, haven't we? Yep. Well, that'll have to do. This is my last effort. I think I've got everything sussed. No, I haven't. I've even mentioned the fact, if we go with a system, well, it's similar to the human body is what I want to say. You, come, you stand like this and your legs are parted like that. You come down to this point here. In the centre of those two Vs, you've got your heart, the sun. Basically the way the sun works on here. We've done the human brain. We've got the sun here. With the two Vs, if you, if you bring the two Vs together. In a hyperboloid, hyperbola. I'm thinking of the sum of the human body, so I'm calling that the electrical, and up here is the magnet, magnetic field. The sun affects this up here in the brain. This is your electrical circuit, magnetism and electrical. Long story. Anyway, um, what was I going to say then? So, yeah, so... Science wants us to think we're getting all these sounds from out, out there in space, but they're not. They're all coming from in here, the black hole, the vortex. That's where night is created. Everything is created in here. The sounds are coming from in here. Amplified out. So the human brain, right? Two spheres of the human brain. We've got the noise here and the noise here. What do we have here? There's an ear and there's an ear on the human's head. Nature again. Isn't it? Check out the ring magnets. Get your own ring magnet. Prove me wrong. Works exactly like that. Field comes in. Down underneath. Comes back up. Out here. Down. North of the equator. Out underneath and back out here. No one has ever found that except me. <coughs> yeah, I'll blow my own trumpet. No one else is. Uh, Flat Earth works like a rotor and a strotor. There's your rotor. There's your strotor. There's the magnetic gap between them. Look into it. Dielectric inertial plane. Between the... Here. This is what they've missed. Yeah. Everything works in spirals. Everything works in spiral. We've got the spiral magnetic field here, the spiral. You have a spiral coming back down here. Dragging that positive down to the earth. 
hits the earth and shoots off that way. You've got the, those other spirals out in the space, fractals of out in the Milky Way. It's all magnetism. As above, so below, you're getting spirals, vortexes in your ocean and the lakes. Same thing, you get them up here in little star oak formations out in the Milky Way. All the shooting stars that hit the sun in all directions, like watching an arc welder. Or you just get them shooting back down here, and everything goes back down to hit the sun to be recycled. See them shoot across the sky from north straight out south. They will be going in all directions when they hit that sun. The shooting stars. I haven't quite figured out how the how we get the um, meteor showers from individual suns, but once again, on a individual stars and stuff, or it's just part of the, the big vortex there around the Milky Way because all the action is around here. You've got to think of something very minute and it's all in there. So it's all being amplified out. So it's probably still coming from another side of the Milky Way rotation. See, like We might see it like that in the sky somehow. You're seeing it blasted out here. But it's it's still part of the system. Maybe not. Maybe that individual, so I don't know, fractals off. <coughs> uh, so did I mention this, the two poles on the magnet? Two poles, you got the two poles this way, or north and south. But, you know, every magnet, break it down, you got two parts. There it is there. So it seems to work that way and that way. Okay, last one of the night. Thanks for watching.